Hey everybody, um, just bringing you a quick tutorial video. I guess it's not going to be super quick, but uh, I'm going to try to make a thorough video and kind of show beginners and people who haven't played the game at all uh, a bit about how the menus work in this game because they can be confusing and um, there isn't uh, many videos that I've found that kind of walk you through that and uh, it's, it's going to save people some time definitely would have saved me some time if there was a video like this when I started out. So when you start the game and you load it up it's gonna start on the lobby screen here and uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is move to the uh, roster which shows my characters. I'm hitting R1 I'm on PlayStation and uh, you can go over to your roster and see all of your characters and starting out you're only gonna have one character and uh, that's fine but you're you're most likely gonna well you're probably not gonna lose that character till a uh, level 11 on uh, rank 11 uh, you don't start having permadeath till rank 11 so I believe it's rank 11 I could be wrong it might be 12 but I think it is 11 Anyway, uh, once you reach rank 11, you're going to start dying and your character will be lost, all the gear you had will be lost, and you're now going to be a part of the permadeath system. And um, at that point, uh, and even before it, you want to go over to recruitment and you can purchase new hunters for um, this amount of hunt dollars per hunter. You get the, the weapons that they show and the skills that they, you know, they give you. But you can also do a free shuffle and it's going to give you the option to play as a free hunter and use the stuff that that it's that's given to you with that free hunter so so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm going to go ahead and select this free hunter and um i guess play with whatever i have okay let's let's assume that you have a little bit of money right now i have this is how much money I have, 13,586 uh, hunt dollars. And maybe I want to modify this, but I, I'm not going to change the, the main weapons here just, you know, um, because I, for the sake of this tutorial, you might not have any money. But it, what if you had a little bit of money and you wanted to um, buy like a, a health syringe? You select one of these, one of these boxes and it's going to open up the equipment tab over here which you could also get to with L2 and R2 so the equipment tab I'm just gonna bring you over here and you can you can switch through and look what look at all this different equipment you have you get this equipment by unlocking it um, a lot of it is unlocked based on what rank you are based on this uh, bloodline rank right here so a lot of that stuff's uh, locked and unlocked based on that so you can see this uh this this thing right here this weak antidote shot it's it's actually still locked um i can't purchase one if i wanted to um but something like this i could purchase um you can see down here five for ten hunt dollars if i were to go to the weak anecdote shot it's not going to give me that option so i'm going to buy a uh, well, I guess I don't need to buy one, but I'll equip one um, So a few more things while we're looking at this You can only hold four tools and four consumables uh, and what I mean by that is if I were to add another one of these weak vitality shots, let's just add one You're gonna see that it grays out a box here and that means that counts as one of my four things so if I had four weak vitality shots I would only be able to have that I won't be able to use this uh, this weak stamina shot now that wouldn't work so right now I can either add another one of one of these or just something else so let's just uh, add another weak vitality shot just to show you so now I can't add any anything else. This this counts as my four things. Um, theoretically, I could remove remove one of those. It gives me a slot back. Remove another one. It gives me another slot back. I could uh, select this slot and put a firebomb in it. 
and you know and stuff like that um, I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and I'll also take this out because um, we're gonna go into this mission with uh, exactly what that free character gave me I've never used this before by the way and crossbow I've just never used it never had any desire to use it so but we'll see how that goes um, but while we're on the screen, let's look at a, let's look at a few more things. So, the way the uh, the weapons work here, uh, right now I have two medium sized weapons. You see these little squares right here? That that shows you what size the weapon is. Uh, the two squares means medium. Three squares means large. One square means small. Now you can have two medium sized weapons at a time. You can equip that but you you can't have a large weapon and a medium weapon so what do i have here springfield compact that i so let's change it to uh something like something large oh, that's the wrong direction ah all right while i'm showing things this is the filters you can filter out what um what weapons are going to show up in this list so i just uh, enabled large slot weapons to show up so let's uh, let's put one of those in here and see what happens. It actually doesn't let me equip this because it's a medium slot. So I would have to unequip this uh, this weapon here. Uh, it's gonna make me get rid of it because I already have too many of those. Hmm. Okay. Well, bottom line is, if I were to qu equip this one with a large weapon, I would only be able to use a, sl uh, a small weapon here. Um, so you're not you're not allowed to to do large and medium. Uh, later on, you are whenever you unlock the perks for that. But we're we're not there yet. We're day one right now, and that's uh, that's the gist of you know getting your loadout started. Now, whenever you want to start looking at how to unlock certain things, so so let's say you started out with a uh, a Negant M1895. This this is a weapon that you do start out with. It's like the lowest level revolver in the game. This is this is as low as it gets. Um, I'm scrolling over to to the store to show you this weapon here, and when you start using the weapon it's going to uh, enable you to unlock other variants of that weapon so these are still Negan M1895s but uh, you unlock them by using it and gaining XP to show you what I'm talking about uh, all these little areas here that have this this bar I'm supposed to get a uh, thousand XP with any Romero 77 variant to unlock this I've only gotten a little bit I haven't been working on this one at all uh, I'm not really a huge fan of this gun personally but um that's kind of uh, that's kind of how all this works to unlock all these guns all these guns you see that are already unlocked so yeah I never used any crossbows um, all these guns you see that are unlocked like this one uh, the uh, what is it? Uh, Vetterly, Vetterly, yeah. Vetterly 71 Carabiner Deadeye. Um, I I'm almost I'm I'm almost halfway to unlocking the bayonet version of it. But to unlock that, I don't have to use the one right before. I could also use the base model, which is this one. And what's important to note about that is that the base model is much cheaper. Uh, a good a good way to point that out is um what's something i'm trying to unlock right now that's uh right so the uh the caldwell conversion pistol this pistol is a really good pistol and it's only 26 hunt dollars uh but to unlock this um uppercut version of it i need 3000 xp well if i keep dying you know which i do die a lot <laughs> I don't want to use the more expensive one every time I jump into a match because 
you know, I mean, unless I know that I'm feeling good, I, I you know, I'm, I'm feeling squirrely, I'll probably go ahead and jump in with this. But if I, and not to mention, I probably won't even use this pistol very much anyway, because I try to stay silent and kill with the knife uh, as much as I can. And if it's a um, PvP situation, I'm probably not even going to use my pistol anyway, if I, unless I really need to. So no point in dying and losing this... Uh, this you know an extra twenty twenty four dollars um when i could have just used this one so that's kind of how the progression works when you start out most of these are all going to be black um but as you as you move through and you progress and you and you gain xp you'll start unlocking more and more stuff and it's it's pretty rewarding honestly uh it, it keeps me going back into the matches um even if you don't even want to fight other players you could you could just go in and kill the uh the npcs kill the zombies kill the monsters um you get a ton of points for killing the uh the bounties oh my god i mean since i'm a solo player for a while i was just uh for a while i was just hunting down people that had bounties killing them and taking them which is profitable it's also it's also really risky and uh you don't get all the points for killing the monster banishing it and all that stuff so you, you get you get a lot of points for actually killing a bounty uh but like i said it is a lot harder when you're by yourself sometimes i'll have to kill the whole team uh that is trying to kill the monster and and then kill the monster after i kill everybody else but um I say it like I do it all the time. I think I've done that like once. So, <laughs> but it was still pretty exciting. Um, anyway, so this is the store. This is how you unlock stuff in the store. Uh, you know, you have these legendary weapons. The legendary weapons, don't be fooled. There's literally nothing special about them other than the skin. So if you have a DLC or something that's like, hey, you can unlock these legendary weapons. Uh, I believe it, it does unlock them if you don't already have them unlocked. But if you already have the weapons unlocked, it's only going to get you... It's only going to unlock the skin for it. So, like, like look, at, look at this Blood Oath knife right here. So this Blood Oath knife, if I was to go to my equipment... And, um... Go to where my knives are. I can show you... That Blood Oath knife, it's the same thing. 20, cost 20, a hundred dollars, and you, you can see the uh, the statistics over here. The red, the red number is the uh, the number of the thing you're switching it to. So, you know, the uh, the dusters I'm on right now is the red highlight, and the top one is the constant one, which is the blood oath knife so yeah so the so the legendary weapons to me uh it doesn't really seem worth it um tools you start to see what, how you unlock these um you unlock them the same way uh eh, not really the same way the guns you have to you unlock a gun with a rank uh and then you unlock its variants by getting xp with that weapon that you unlock but these you you pretty much just unlock them. Oh, well, I guess that's not true. Oh yeah, well, shit. I guess it. Uh, I'm learning something now too. Oh my god, now I have a reason to use the knife more. I didn't realize this. <laughs> All right, so I'm learning things too as I make this tutorial. Great. Um, this thing is really cool. I got one of these by doing a daily challenge. Haven't used it yet. I'm afraid to die. Uh, anyway. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how uh, how all this stuff works. You unlock something, and then you start unlocking its variant by using it. Uh, vitality shot. Okay, cool. Um, and then they have the store to buy blood bonds. They the blood bonds aren't going to buy you anything. The only thing they're they're going to get you is uh, another another spot. To, to buy another hunter uh, I mean I can see that being valuable later whenever you've got you know uh, you know five level 25 hunters and 
you don't want to use one because, you know, you've had a, t a few too many cocktails that night and you're going to get killed for sure. And maybe just buy a new recruit, recruit another hunter slot and then start it with a level one character so you don't uh, get pissed off when you lose your hunter because you're an idiot. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that, oh, you know, there's one more thing here. Let's look at this. So upgrades. Um, there's two... So there's two levels of your uh, of your hunter thing here. So you have your blood bloodline rank, which is which which follows you through the whole game, unlocks stuff that you can buy. That's the point of that. But then you have your hunter rank. So you see this hunter rank is level one, but this hunter rank is level twenty two. And the level twenty two hunter uh, has a lot of traits, and um, I'll get into these traits right now. So, what's what's important to to not dying is that whenever you your character survives and you don't die, you um, you level that character up, and leveling that character up means that you're able to put traits on them. And I'll show you some of these traits right now. So, here are traits that you can that you can use this one actually just came out for console it's uh basically just lever action you're able to fire your um uh your your pistols faster which is going to be cool you know like in the westerns boom, 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 boom. so uh but yeah there's there's a lot of cool stuff in here uh levering for uh, rifles too um remain in iron sights after firing a shot while using lever action rifles there's there's a lot of really good uh really good things that you can unlock and put on your character oh look at this remain in scope after firing a shot uh i think i might go ahead and pop that one on there to be honest so if you like if you like it you can apply it and now your that character has all these traits like you know all this stuff uh, this character has um, and you can see down all these characters have different traits that I've put on them that really help them through the through the process of getting getting a match completed and uh, successfully completing the match because you know they're pretty tough they are tough once you get in there it's like all right time to focus get this done but the uh, the menu is a tricky place. Uh, that's why I wanted to make this video, because I haven't seen any videos that kind of walk through the menu and all the things you can do in the menu, and it can be pretty confusing as a new player to figure out what all this shit is and how to how, how to use it. You know, uh, a lot of tutorial videos don't really get into what, what ha like 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 I mentioned earlier, a, a large slot and a small slot. You can't do a large and a medium. You know. A lot of stuff like that nobody's really mentioned that uh, another thing that I'm gonna mention towards in here I'm about to be done with this video but somebody told me I, I posted another tutorial on reddit and uh, somebody mentioned that I should put a I should carry a first aid kit with me it's only 30 hunt dollars and that was a really good tip so if I was gonna give you uh, my very last tip as a new hunter on what you should carry I would I would say you should uh, I'm not gonna jump into the match anymore that this video is already too long um, I would say as a new hunter either try to get a free character with a knife or buy one for twenty hundred dollars you want a knife um, you want a first aid kit for sure and with the first aid kit, you could probably forego any other um, minor first aid things here. You know, you don't you don't need to buy any vitality shots. If you have this first aid kit, I just roll with that. It has three of them in it. It's not just one first aid kit. You can use it. There's three uses out of this one first aid kit, and it costs uh, and it costs thirty. So it's it's essentially buying three of these, but one use of a first aid kit actually heals you more. Than one use of a weak vitality shot so it's actually better uh, in the long run and you're probably gonna need it a little bit more often so I'd suggest for a loadout first aid kit a knife and 
level up your weapons, whatever you got here, you know, go with two medium, go with the large and the small. If when you're trying to uh, level them up, uh, use both of them, you know, with the, uh, the zombies, lower level zombies, go for headshots, boom, 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 just knock them out. You're going to, you're going to, uh, really get XP up. If you're, uh, if you want to level a, uh, a, a lesser damage weapon faster, um, I would say get on some high ground and kill some bigger monsters with uh, with your more powerful weapon. Uh, get them get them weakened, then finish them off with your low level. That's you know whatever kills the monster, what, whatever delivers the death blow to the monster is what's gonna get the XP. So um, that's 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 how you you can uh, really build some up. And honestly, killing another hunter really gives you the XP, but you know, it's not as easy as, you know, doing that with monsters. You're gonna, yeah, you kinda, you kinda have to get the luck of the draw on that one. Uh, no pun intended. Anyway, I, uh, hope this video wasn't too long, too boring, or too, uh, you know, too shitty, but I, I think it was alright. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was helpful to people that, uh, don't really ever they don't they don't really know how this all works and don't know these menus because they can get confusing especially as a new player especially since there's nothing that um kind of walks you through it all right well uh thanks for watching